Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. Now, this Bitcoin factor marked the start of the 300% rally back in 2019, and that factor is back. You don't want to miss a single moment of this video. This will be great news for you. Now, in today's video, we're also going to talk about a major Chinese crypto miners expect an influx of new Bitcoin buyers. And this is significant because, you know, uh, I live in the United States and I, my, to the best of my knowledge, the majority of the people that listen to this channel are also in the United States. And so we don't have a lot of knowledge information about what's going on in China. But when Chinese Bitcoin miners are expecting an influx of new Bitcoin miners, we're talking about the world's most populous country. And so that can be significant, especially if they're really talking about an influx of Chinese crypto buyers. The top five countries that are frantically Googling Bitcoin having right now will be the second article that we look at. And I thought it was very interesting where these countries are primarily located in the world um, because the Bitcoin halvening is coming up. But, you know, typically where you see a lot of interest in the Bitcoin halvening is also where in, in many cases you also find people starting to accumulate more and more Bitcoin. The last one is the, the headline, the, the, what we started out the video with, and that this Bitcoin factor marked the start of the 300% rally back in 2019, and that factor is back. And so all of this is significant news. Should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profit and avoid losses. Can we get to this video to 99 likes? smash that like button. It really helps us out. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have a degree in finance. My experience is primarily in software engineering and computer programming. I've been in that field for 20 years. Therefore, this is not financial advice. What you're about to hear is my opinion and, and some of the information is readily available out on the internet. I'm going to provide you links to all of the articles that we discussed. But as always, before you invest in cryptocurrency, read the rest of this disclaimer. Make sure that you understand the risk that you're about to take and do your own research. That is why I put the links to all the articles that we cover in our videos in the, in the YouTube description. So if you haven't found them, all you need to do is click down in this lower corner uh, on most uh, uh, websites, like if you're on Reddit or Facebook or something else, normally you'll find a link to get to the YouTube video. And then in the description are links to each of these articles. I do that because I wanna help you start your own research so that you can investigate this and come to your own conclusions and make your own decisions about how you invest your money. That's how we give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. All of that is through getting good information in your hands. So the first place we wanna look is where is the market at right now? So when is right now? Cause you could be listening to this video at any time or any day. Right now is 828 Central Standard Time. It is uh, May 5th. 2020. And so at this particular time, Bitcoin is trading at $8,863 and it's up almost a full percent. And currently the Bitcoin dominance has increased. It's now at 66.20%. And so Bitcoin represents the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies at a rate of 66%. And all of the rest uh, consume the, the leftover 34%. And you can see what the rest of the market is doing right now. It's a mixture of reds and greens. Some of it has followed Bitcoin like Ethereum and others are still in the red like XRP. But XRP is only down by half a percent. So it really won't take a whole lot for XRP to flip and be in the green or for really a lot of these other cryptocurrencies. So that's the current status of the market. 
Major Chinese crypto miners expect an influx of new Bitcoin buyers. Several prominent Chinese cryptocurrency miners expect a wave of new Bitcoin buyers following the halvening. And so kind of like this graphic, all these people uh, holding money, wanting to get more. So a majority of Chinese miners expect a huge influx of new Bitcoin buyers within the next six months. According to a poll by crypto services from RockX, on May 4th, 57% of Chinese buyers expect a large number of new Bitcoin buyers to join the market in the new future, near future. RockX claims to have polled 42 prominent Bitcoin miners and members of the Asian mining community. Respondents include f to pool Chief Operating Officer Yu Chao, Token Insight Partner Wayne Zhao, Pand- Panda Miner, and OXBTC CEO Wilson Gao, and Bitmain APAC Head of Sales Fan, and I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Over 71% of the respondents also believe that the market has regained its confidence in Bitcoin. Furthermore, 45% of respondents believe that the next six months, Bitcoin's price will be between $10,000 and $12,000. Nearly 24% think it will stay around $10,000 with low volatility. And over 14% believe that Bitcoin will be worth over $15,000. So those are some interesting price predictions of where they think the price of Bitcoin will go. Um, As always, you want to take that with a bit of skepticism. Might do better than that, might do worse than that. Time will tell and we'll know for certain. Um, But in the meantime, if you think this is good news or bullish news on Bitcoin, you might want to look into it further. Now, they've reported, reportedly managed uh, mining farms since 2013, told Cointelegraph that because of the wet season in China, domestic mining farms could take advantage of cheap hydropower and continue operating with older and less efficient mines. And so that is one of the advantages that a lot of the miners have in China is they've set up their... Uh, mining facilities, uh, the location where they have a lot of their miners, they've located them near hydroelectric power, near dams um, in different locations throughout China. But the largest amount of, of Bitcoin miners are very, very close to some of these large hydroelectric dams. And as a result, they're getting super low prices on their electricity. And that gives them a significant edge uh, against the rest of the world when it comes to doing Bitcoin mining because they're, they're, the rates that they're getting are, are so low, it's, it's just, just uh, extremely, extremely low. Still, Lamb noted that the mining farms based in the United States, Canada, and Europe could phase out older machines after the halving, predicting that Bitcoin's hash rate will fall by about 30% a month after the event. Respondents also expect the U.S. economy to influence Bitcoin in the future. 64% of them expect quantitative easing measures undertaken by the Federal Reserve to have a somewhat positive effect on Bitcoin. Only 12% of the respondents believe the measures will have a very positive impact, while another 12% think it will have no impact. And so I thought it was very interesting that these miners are paying attention to the quantitative easing happening in the United States and that for the most part, they think that it will have little to no effect on Bitcoin to having a very significant effect on Bitcoin, but that 64%, in other words, a large majority of these miners are expecting that the United States quantitative easing measures are going to have a positive effect on the price of Bitcoin. It'll force the price up. And so I thought that was very interesting that that they're paying attention to our economy, and yet we seem to kind of ignore their economy. And so it might behoove us to become more aware of the uh, the economy in China, the economy in India, and, and how those factors could affect the price of Bitcoin 
because both of those countries are dramatically larger than the United States and with the larger amount of people in those countries, if those countries see a large influx of their population jumping into Bitcoin, that will have a dramatic effect pushing the price of Bitcoin up significantly. Now, I've always thought, or at least I have over the last couple of years, that the next big rush in Bitcoin was going to happen because of institutional buyers, but because of what's happening in China and what's happening in India, that may be a wrong thesis. It may be completely out of whack. It may be just the, the regular population in India and China rushing in to try and get some cryptocurrency um, and that alone could dramatically push up the price of Bitcoin. So what are the top five countries that are frantically Googling Bitcoin having right now? Now there are signs of a clear cluster of intrigue around the Bitcoin having just one week before the seminal event takes place. So these are the five countries. The first one is Austria. Already well known as a Bitcoin curious nation, Austria is currently the fifth most active search source. Despite being an EU member state, Austria has shown a rare acceptance of Bitcoin, which few others have copied. Vienna has long been the home of dedicated Bitcoin entities, including a so-called Bitcoin bank, which opened in 2017 along with Information Hub House of Nakamoto. The next one is Estonia. Now, the small Baltic nation has already made a name for itself as digitally forward-thinking niche of the European Union. Its e-residency scheme has hit headlines for years, but the government's inclusive policy has yet to expand to a noticeably permissive stance on Bitcoin. A cryptocurrency exchange license scheme is now in operation, but has seen com complaints from those who feel that the process is overly difficult. Nonetheless, residents are clearly aware of events occurring in the cryptocurrency space generating the fourth highest having requests this week. So what is the third country? Slovenia. So quietly Googling the having, it's Italy's discreet eastern neighbor, the original home of the exchange Bitstamp and even a Bitcoin monument. Slovenia still uses its native national fiat currency, the Kuna, which has managed to fare broadly better than nearby Hungary's embattled for int and other non-European European currencies in the area. In January last year, meanwhile, it was reported that hundreds of shops were now accepting Bitcoin payments thanks to a new app rollout. The second one, or second to last, is the Netherlands. A strange mixture of oppressive regulations and huge interest in cryptocurrency, the Netherlands is the second biggest having Googler. Home to many crypto startups, the Dutch government has nonetheless signaled that it has little tolerance for Bitcoin usage, which is not strictly monitored. The famous Bitcoin City project in Arnhem, aside authorities, shut down coin mixing service Best Mixer in 2019, while prosecutions elsewhere continue. So it's interesting that the Netherlands in particular have some pretty strong regulations against Bitcoin, and yet the people of the Netherlands are very interested in it and are pursuing Bitcoin um, to a large degree. So I thought that was quite interesting. Switzerland is the number one of all the countries that are Googling the Bitcoin happening. Perhaps a likely leader, Switzerland now Googles the happening more than any other country in the world. The Swiss are well known for their permissive regulatory stance on Bitcoin, having produced mainstream finance products focused on the cryptocurrency for several years. The nation is also home to the Crypto Valley startup Mecca in the city of Zug, among the member nations of which Bitcoin is Swiss, which famously took out a conspicuous advertising campaign in the Zurich airport. And so it's interesting that the Switzerland is the number one country in the world that is Googling or, or looking at the Bitcoin happening. 
Um, in fact, some of my favorite YouTube channels um, are from Switzerland. And so it's, it's quite interesting what's happening there. And so this is the 12 month chart from on, on Google Trends and it's about the Bitcoin halving. And you can see how this chart just puttered along with really small numbers for months. And then all of a sudden in the last few months, it has absolutely skyrocketed. And so uh, people searching for the Bitcoin halving have gone up significantly. Now, the last article, this Bitcoin factor that marked the start of 300% rally in 2019 is back. Despite the drop thus far, a simple yet notable technical factor just appeared that could boost the efficacy of a bull case. The factor is the same one that marked the start of an over 300% rally in Bitcoin's price uh, during 2019. So Bitcoin flashes notable buy signal. Buy, buy, buy. Now, this is the author's opinion. Um, I have a tendency to agree with them, but again, this is not financial advice. This is just our opinions. With there being no cash flow statements, no balance sheets to scrutinize to value Bitcoin, analysts have turned to the next best thing, technical analysis. As a staple indicator to TA is the moving average convergence divergence, also known as the MACD, which is described as an indicator revealing changes in strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend. Just as Bitcoin marked in the chart below, the MACD flipped bullish on Bitcoin's one-week chart suggesting a medium-term bull rally. The MACD turning bullish on the one week has marked the start of the strongest rallies in the past. In 2017, the indicator flipped green at $2,000 to mark the start of a 1,000% rally to $20,000. At the start of 2019, Bitcoin rallied 300% when the indicator turned green in January and just recently, it flipped green prior to the Bitcoin rallying from 8,000 to 10,500. And that was just before everything crashed because of the pandemic. And so you can kind of see here, here's the MACD at the bottom of the chart. Here's the green where it was in green for this entire period of time while Bitcoin rose up to $20,000. And then you can see it jumped to green back in January and stayed green all the way through Bitcoin hitting that $14,000. And then we can see that just a few months ago it was green until we saw this big drive down early in March um, where everything in the world was driven down uh, because of the pandemic. But that indicator has just now in the last couple of days flipped green and it's definitely a positive sign. We started out looking at the price of Bitcoin and since we've been looking at it, it's already jumped to 1.62% uh, increase on the day. But I'm wondering if we're going to see even greater increases in the near future. So this could be very telling about the direction that Bitcoin is headed. Another thing that is telling about the direction that Bitcoin is headed is also a technical indicators, and that is the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. And you can see here's this orange line is the 200-day and this yellow line is the 50-day. You can see that Bitcoin is above both of those moving indicators, indicating that it is in a bullish trend right now. And you can see that the 50-day is rising and is likely to cross the 200-day moving average in the near future. And that is also known as a golden cross. And a golden cross has often also been a good indicator of a long-term bullish trend. Uh, we've often seen the golden cross uh, before things like the $20,000 price and everything. You know, a lot of like, like just do your own research. You can go to different websites and pull up charts like this and just simply add a 50-day moving average and a 200-day moving average and then switch the chart so that you're looking at the one-day uh, uh, bars. I like the, 
you know, the, the, the high, low close bars that you see here. And, uh, you know, do your own research, check it out for yourself. So if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, how can I be of service to you? Leave your comments down below in the comment section. I'd love to have a conversation, a dialogue with you on, on any subject you're interested in, but especially if you're interested in talking about Bitcoin. If you disagree with anything that I've said, look, you know things I don't know. I know things you don't know. And when we share our knowledge, we're going to grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter together with you. So feel free to share your polite disagreements in the comment section below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor. Have a fantastic day.